Today we're driving a special one. We have a 2007 Lexus GX 470 that belongs to a guy I've followed for quite a while on the GXOR Facebook page group. Uh, you guys remember I had a GX 460 for a few years, had some fun with that, but doesn't hold a candle to this rig. Uh, we're gonna be driving this today. We've got a very mild off-road trail that we're taking this on. A lot of the trails here in Southern California are closed due to some flooding, so we'll put this through a couple of obstacles, but for the most part, we're just gonna get some time behind the wheel. I've actually never driven a GX 470. I went to a dealer once to drive one and the brake pads fell off in the parking lot and that was the end of that experience. <laughs> so today I think we'll probably have some better luck. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Well, this, the, the brake pads on this are not too bad. Okay, good. <laughs> They're not Nokia phones. Yeah, just, just yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we've got Chris from Alpha Equipped Wheels, Hi, which guys. are equipped on this GX. And then we've got Steve from RPM Off-Road Garage just hanging out today, tagging just along. Having a good time. You've got your beautiful Toyota Tundra over there. Yeah. Um, it's a and... pig now with that big old camper on it. Yeah. It's actually not that heavy. Oh, I bet it's nice and comfy. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's a comfy truck, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I've, got, I've got some other Land Cruisers, but yeah, it's uh, kind of the comfort truck. When okay. not wheeling hard. <laughs> yeah, I hear you're the Land Cruiser guru of the era. I area, try. So, yeah. yeah, we might have to do some stuff someday. Yeah. Let's talk about this GX, though. Okay. So, there's a lot been done. Yeah, where do you want to begin? Um, I mean, what's what's some of your favorite stuff you've done to it? What's so uh, yeah, I got this thing roughly six years ago. Wanted to have fun off the pavement. There's some um, slight upgrades to suspension. So just to start off with the front, we have the Camberg uh, Race Long Travel Kit, which adds uh, three and a half inches to the track of the front, and then it's complemented with the uh, King uh, secondary bypass shocks as well. Cool. Uh, yeah, so, good. yeah, then you know it's it's got the proper massaging of the frame, so nice. the tires were clear. Are these thirty fives. So these are 315, 70, uh, 17s. So in some circles, people say they're thirty fives. Um, you know, all the people say they're big thirty fours. Okay. Whatever. Cool. They, they work pretty well. Sure. Bottom line. <laughs> That's all you need. Yeah. It's, uh, and then here we have the Alpha Equipped wheels. This is the Halo model in light gray with the black lip. Nice. Um, it's 17 by eight and a half with a uh, you know six by one thirty nine lug pattern, zero offset, um, and then it has the proprietary dual valve uh, stem system. One of my favorite things about these wheels, you can. You can air down while checking your pressures. That's correct. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes, uh, it's very convenient when you're airing down. Yeah, in in real time, like what you said, mm -hmm. you check the pressure, and it takes out a lot of the guesswork and stuff. Sure. You want to hit that target PSI. And these are protected valve stems too. Or yes. This is probably your. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know if you're running TPMS so, in this. Yeah. So yeah. we normally put the metal stem right there. That's with right. The protection. Yeah. And then we run the rubber one there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, these fenders are fiberglass. They're made by McQueen Fiberglass cool. out of uh, LA. Uh, they make a lot of parts for a lot of um, trophy truck teams yeah. and, and so forth. But they had a, a, a nice little soft spot for the GX, I guess. <laughs> this looks so, so good. Yeah, so they're uh, three inches wider than stock. Okay. So it'll help, it helps me clear the 35 inch tire yeah. on it. Here. Fitment is good. They look They look awesome. Yeah, no, it just looks very, I don't know. I mean, I guess the, the cool person term these days is OEM plus. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. it's just a little extra, Yeah. A little Baja vibes there. And yeah. then you've got tons of clearance here with the with the front bumper too. And Yeah, definitely. You got this wrapped recently, or re-wrapped recently, right? Re-wrapped, so this is the second wrap. Uh, it is uh, by the uh, cool guys over at Aeroworks and ladies in, um, uh, City of Industry, California. Sweet. They used a Avery Dennison brand uh, vinyl wrap, and this is called Hidden Forest. Sweet. So you'll see different hues on uh, the finish, depending on you know how cool the sun is. Right now, we are lucky to see multiple variants, such as blue, purple, green, um, 
like in direct sunlight. Yeah. If it's a harsh day, it'll be just forest green. Cool. And sometimes it even turn gray. That's awesome. Wild, so I can't. It's yeah. It's a, it's a good icebreaker. Yeah. Stuff, so. No, it looks good, and it's actually not too far off from the original color, which is yeah. kind of uh, what is this like a, a grayish? Yeah. It's uh, Blue, toy, green. Uh, you know, Toyota calls it oh, um, cypress pearl. Okay. Cool. So yeah. It, it's a so it was only available for like two years and stuff and a lot of gx people like to go up to this color and stuff so i you know when i saw this thing in the classifieds i just had to snag it right away and i paid extra i paid a premium over the typical blizzard whites and the, and the blacks that i used to sure. see often on there so it just it was nice and you kind of came from not on the off-road scene you came from more canyon carvers and sports cars right i, I was a uh, honda head yeah growing up and stuff <laughs> I, I for this vehicle uh, i had the s2000 cool and for that I had an integra gsr sweet um, oh man all right another classic car is being sold for fifty thousand dollars of course so. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, wanted to change the scenery decided to uh, you know see uh, put my, my put my hand in uh, going off roading and here we are six plus years later yeah cool yeah. rock sliders this is a pretty cool bumper nice Pelfry. high clearance yeah it uh, was made by Pelfryville and um, they uh, are no longer around unfortunately um, but it was you know it's a very unique bumper they only made less than 20 oh wow uh, so we're looking at also behind the bumper is uh, mean Mother 9500 winch. Cool, yeah. And, along with the uh, Factor 55, great guys over here made this um, ultra hook system, in which you could run a um, regular D ring on here, or if you want to go to a hook style, nice. You get that option as well. And also complementing this is the rope guard, uh, which, as you can see here, helped me out in situations <laughs> where, you know. The rope is exposed. The static rope is exposed here, so this protects it, nice. and also it reinforces the the weighting on it as well. Okay. So, and then we have the Baja design. Yeah, these are nicely it's integrated. S8 system. Uh, this is a 20-inch bar, and then complemented with the Squadron Pros here. Cool. So lumens galore. Yeah, I bet this this lights up the night. Yes. Full RCI skid plates underneath, a lot of protection. Yes, and uh, yeah, if you look closely, uh, you can see that it dinged it up right in the middle. So That's it really okay. helped out. Yeah, yeah they're, so, they're doing work. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Anything done to the engine? The engine, engine is fairly stock. Uh, you will see uh, the Air B single compressor along uh, with some Switch Pro. Systems. Man, clean engine bay. Oh yeah. <laughs> How'd you manage that? Yeah, this for you. <laughs> by the great detailing uh, team over at Aeroworks. I think the engine bay and the underbody are cleaner than yeah. the wrap. Yeah. <laughs> the owner too. <laughs> uh, so here you see the uh, uh, the air air compressor. Originally, I had it to um, air my. Uh, Tires in the beginning when I first started off-roading. Now it's dedicated to uh, providing air to the, uh, uh, the air lockers. In the oh front yeah, and the rear. cool. We'll get that, that in the little. All right, yeah. sweet, nice. Mm -hmm. And then we have a switch pro system right here, which controls um, all the lighting and so forth. Nice. Um, and the lockers, of cool. course. And then we have a distribution block here for auxiliary devices and such if i want to have the usb ports um i got it right here and this is the uh, beautiful it's so well integrated yeah power trees out of yeah. colorado they made the system which is, is a very clean look uh when you know when you have to install a bunch of stuff in your hood and you know off more than often you know real estate is a premium in these tight quarters here. sure of course yeah. yep so, it's amazing what the aftermarket has provided for these these GXs. I mean, yeah. a lot of it is carried over probably from Forerunner and Prado, but some of it is very unique to the platform, and that's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you know, the more the brands just embrace this platform. I mean, Steve could could tell you, you know, back in the days where he had to just 
fabricate stuff out of sure. thin air just to get it to fit. It's yeah. amazing. Now you can buy any bracket you want. That's mount awesome. Any light you want, any accessory, <laughs> compressor, dual, single, wow. trays, batteries. It's it's amazing. That's cool. Yeah. So it's the overland off-roading market has matured so much in the past. I don't know. I'd say what three to five years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. It started before that, but the last five years have been phenomenal. I mean, just the GXOR group has grown from like yes. a few thousand members to a lot more. Yeah. So, I mean, they, GXOR, GX Off Road, it started in 2016. Um, you know, like 2000. Yeah. And now we're, it, it's well over 30K. Wow. That's awesome. Just nuts. Yeah. I mean, Jeez. Yeah. So these things, people found out a little secret about GX. Yeah. It's, you it's can't out. Buy it for real cheap now. So. <laughs> I was fortunate to get it before the craziness happened. Sure. Um, this is an Odyssey. It's a standard um, GX size uh, battery. This thing cranks out pretty well. Cool. Considering all the accessories I throw at it. This is the Group 34R. R is reversed because the uh, the poles are at the top. So okay. They used to be on the other side. And then over here you have the Coil Rad all aluminum radiator. Uh, which is almost a must-have for a lot of GXs as they approach well over 100k miles uh, where, you know, you eventually have to replace it for this. Sure. But the Old plastics and stuff. Yes. Okay. End tanks. Steve could talk about all the, you yep. know, the radiators as we place. Yeah. We replace plenty of them. We sure. actually tell people, like, if you had a 15, 20-year-old truck, you should just change it. Yeah. Because it's going to go any day now. Good preventative maintenance. Yeah. Got Sweet. a trans cooler here too. Hey, yes. all right. Yeah. yeah, so this The list thing, goes on. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just gonna keep on, I'm gonna be a chatty cat. It's, it's okay, right. okay, you deserve it. <laughs> okay. So this, the, the stock in, uh, transmission cooler, it's about this size. It's, okay. it's tiny. I don't yeah. even know why they put it there in the first place. It's gonna be that small. Uh, so this is a Hayden 678 transmission cooler. Uh, it's, you know, roughly just twice as much size. Just to give you an idea, on stock transmission figures when you're cruising on the freeway, especially with you know bigger tires and stuff, sure. you're averaging around 190 degrees. That's hot, France. yeah. So yeah, it gets toasty. Mm -hmm. So when you really push it, I've seen it go as high as 230 if I'm in the desert and I'm running it hard. So ever since throwing in this, uh, uh, this cooler in, I'm averaging around 150 degrees on the, on the highway. Cool. If I push it, maybe, 200 okay and i mean i think i seen that once when i was going on the famous grapevine in, in, uh, in la so if you live in southern california you know how steep the grapevine is it's just a constant uphill where it's just a lot of vehicles over here okay so this thing is, that's great it stays put and it's a good peace of mind especially if you're, you're taking these trucks out there sure so yeah awesome so that's good for us yeah should we hop in? Oh, we've got some stuff in the in yeah, the back. Yeah, in the back, and interior, and underneath. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so before I open the trunk, this is the uh, the newest bumper from Descent Off Road. Great guys, Looks up awesome, in yeah, yeah, Northern California. They're very particular about details and stuff. And you know, if you look at the welds, these welds are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah you know, that's it's, awesome. It's, it's, it's nuts. Is this new for you? Yeah, it's fairly new. Okay, uh, it's cool. It's a very modular system. You could, uh, you know, attach the tire carrier, as you can see here. Um, and then you could even attach another carrier on here if you want to put more cargo and more payload and stuff. They okay. I have plenty of different accessories. Check them out. The one thing Can you I integrate a hitch into it? Uh, yeah, okay. you could run the integrated hitch. I, um, I didn't get that option this time. Maybe down the road. It mounts like around here. Okay. Yeah. And then you got the two recovery points right here. Nice. Um, so right. that's you got wire in here. Nice. Yeah. And then you have the attachment for the toe. Yep. One thing I. One feature I really like about this tire here that really sets it apart is the release up here. So just push in, pull it out, easy. Head in. Yeah. yeah. And you got, you know, a shock assisted uh, head swing out and stuff. And they got even got a cool table right here. So if you want to set up your grill oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Cool. Go. Gotta have a place to put your burger. Exactly. You know, <laughs> priorities, right? Yeah. So, 
well. That's clean too. Yeah, I really like the details. I'm impressed, man. This is a very thorough, well done build. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're like halfway there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I gotta have the gold emblem. Nothing's too. ever done. So yeah. halfway to being done is pretty good. Yeah. 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 You know, it's just, <laughs> I like to be low key about things, but you know, <laughs> this, this girl needs some attention, I guess. Sure. So this gold emblem right here, yeah. in the rear, and in the front, it's kind of like an ode to the '90s and stuff. Mm -hmm. My parents were big Lexus uh, owners and stuff, and they had gold trim on it. So. That's so cool. <laughs> so it's for you, mom and dad. Awesome, <laughs> I love it. So fancy. Yeah. So we're gonna open it up here. Oh, we also have another Baja Designs S2 Sport. This is a chase light. It really helps out when um, you know you're running through the desert and you need a light to cut through just to make sure the people behind you um, know where you're going. Sure, cool. Because, yeah, it's not blinding, but it just shows you where you are. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, definitely. So here we have Goose Gear's newest creation. This is the side-by-side -side, uh, drawer system right here, complemented with their new top plate, designed specifically for the GX. Um, cool. It's, uh, they made use of the extra space here where you can open it up, you can stuff some stuff away. Oh, nice. Chubbies, and everything's all lockable and stuff like that. Beautiful. For me, I had to do a lot of cross-country trips on my own where I'm carrying a lot of stuff uh, for shows and events and stuff like that. But, you know, it's, you know, as Steve could attest to this, uh, you know, you always got to have your tools and recovery gear because just the inherent nature of off-roading, anything could happen. Yep. Uh, so, cabinet system, I get to stow away all my tools here. Um, and then recovery gear as well. Beautiful. Yeah, so. So smooth, so quiet. Yeah, it really comes in handy. <laughs> yeah, and, stuff. and like you know, I was just like for the longest time, I didn't have drawers, so I just had a bunch of random bags all over the place. Uh huh. And like just took up, you know, and you know when you're doing like high speed stuff, like things get pretty hairy. Yeah, so, you don't want stuff flying around. Yeah, I don't want a D ring hitting me in the head at like 80 miles an hour. That's Not crazy. ideal. It's no fun. This is very clean. Yeah. No. It's, really well fitted. That's yeah. great. Yeah, just the little details about the stuff, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun stuff. Cool. Well, we forgot one more thing around this area, right? Yeah, there's a, a big fuel tank under there, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so, uh, taking in place of where the OEM spare tire uh, would be is the 24-gallon uh, ta uh, auxiliary tank from Long Range America. Uh, so this adds, you know, roughly 250 mi more miles um, wow. uh, to it. So roughly my average range on one fill for both OEM tank and this tank, I get around 500 plus miles. That's so, awesome. Which yeah. is probably about double exactly what it would be yes. with OEM. Yeah. yeah. So cool. It really helps out when you're doing long drives. And so you don't have to like, you know, stop every so often. I'm sure. Like, in the long run, the less stops you make, you know, you get more out of your tank. And you don't have to have jerry cans mounted right. or anything yeah, like that. It's, so. Yeah, you know, I mean, you don't have to worry about spilling fuel and stuff. Uh, it's a really clean design, especially when you're just trying to save space as much as possible. And um, I also forgot the, uh, the little red pumpkin back here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so um, we, what we have here is a Dana 60. Uh, rear axle from the team over at East Coast Gear Supply. It's a bolt-on solution, so no hacking required. Cool. Uh, very cool thing. It's uh, probably one of the, the strongest axles you could get on the market, um, like right now for this platform. Uh, it, this particular one is actually six inches wider than stock. Yeah. Uh, so it complements the long travel as well so you get like an even yeah the track is super in. wide on this it looks so good cool yeah. uh so and then that one also has a arab rear locker and the front it has a arab locker as well okay cool uh topped off with 456 gears wow so yeah all right <laughs> even got to the interior yet, haven't i know let's get in there let's hop inside <laughs> then we'll take it for a drive yeah, sure. <laughs> All 
Um, well, also, <coughs> Recaro seats. Yeah, so, <laughs> so cool. Uh, the Recaro seats, uh, they are, uh, this model's called the Cross Sports or CF, or CS. It's a, a variation of the famous uh, Sportster CS model you'll find in a lot of OEM fitments and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so the difference between the cross Sportster and the Sportster is that the lower bolsters are more minimal than the typical sports model. Okay. So the ingress egress is much easier in the in the uh, elevated vehicle. That makes sense. Cool. Yeah. Not like the Type R where it's way high up here. Right. I mean. <laughs> and you're not going to be pulling massive G's in this thing. No. Yeah. Yeah. And if I were pulling massive G's, we'd have more issues. Yeah. Than put in the seat. Sure. So, uh, so cool. They look great. I'm sure they're super comfy. They are. I mean, I'm, you know, I, I would average when I'm going cross country, I'm averaging like 600, 600 miles in a day. And so wow. And these things they just take care of me and that's it's probably one of the uh, best investments you could do to especially with these older GX and stuff where the stock seat is just just torn with that sure and those are so on and so forth yep uh, and then right here since these seats don't have the armrest like the, the, the stock ones do this is a Prado 120 um armrest oh cool pretty cool yeah uh it has you know a much bigger compartment than the uh, regular uh, 470 yeah that looks great cool yeah. you've got backrest adjustment with these seats too sliders yeah. the whole kit and caboodle yeah and then over here there's this panel made by Expedition Essentials. Uh, they are up north in the Pacific Northwest. A great system when you want to add on more accessories. As you can see here, I have a Garmin GPS uh, satellite messenger unit, which also doves as my GPS system, which links over providing information for vehicle speed and altitude and other um, metrics as well awesome. along with giving my position here and this is a guy unit so cool. basically this is just the ipad ios i'm just running in split screens mode it gives me all the data i need um you know it's not as fancy as a rivian or anything but you know it does its job i mean for what you're <laughs> using this for probably a little bit more useful than some of the you know navigation stuff in there really comes so, in handy yeah i mean i can always keep an eye on the temp speed mm -hmm. uh, the, the temp trans and then intake Great. air as well and then coolant temp um also and then you know using the uh, navigation um system hand in hand with uh going off-roading really helps out cool and then to top it off, we have the Midland MTX 575. It's a 50 watt GMRS system. Um, the speaker is like right in your leg. Nice. The unit is actually, it's a compact unit, packs a big punch. It's probably one of the strongest GMRS radios you can buy today. But you can put the main unit underneath, um, I put the main uh, unit underneath the seat. Okay. So it's out of the way, and I get all the controls up there. Great. Cool. And then what's the steering wheel? This is really chunky. Yeah. So <laughs> it looks very OEM plus. Yeah. So that's uh, <laughs> uh, the original one. It was just toasted. The leather was just shot. Yeah. So this is uh, that's a steering wheel from the Land Cruiser um, model in the same year. Okay. But, you know, good old Toyota. You could fit a lot of parts. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they carry over. Cool. I think we're done. Should we take it for a drive? Yeah. Sure pop the center if you get a little more light in here all right so let's just start off we're actually gonna do a quick street drive on this um, see what it feels like on some back roads and then we'll come back out here and we've just got a little a light trail no, nothing crazy pretty casual knock yourself out sir yeah <laughs> so 4.7 liter v8 the venerable million mile motor from Toyota. Sounds good. What do you have for exhaust? That's right. The Magnaflow Overland Series exhaust. Cool. Um, it's got the cutoff tips. Right, yeah, it's a turn down. Turn down um, tips, yep. Steve um, did some handy work with the exhaust where it routes right. And they managed to hook around the auxiliary gas tank. Cool. 
Sounds really good. Yeah. yeah. No sway bars. No sway bars. So, so. not not a GT3. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just a Carrera S. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> like a 914. <laughs> exactly. 914. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can really feel the wide track too yeah. on something like this. It's, it's a little unnerving to just, just get the body to sway, but it's yeah. still planted. It sure. Really makes any sense. Yeah, you just you let it set in and yeah. kind of. You ever lift a wheel, an inside well, front I wheel? I probably have. Yeah. I didn't realize what I was doing and stuff. So. A few roundabouts here and there. Yeah. So this thing is it just, she's, uh, she can be pretty top heavy and stuff. So I just got to be a little more gentle. Sure. But on the off road, she just, she drives. Oh yeah. That's where, that's where this shines. Let's open it up a little bit. Still so smooth. Oh, I have, yeah, and I forgot to mention the 456 gears. So it, it helps in acceleration. There is extra payload on, you know, from when it was stock and so. Sure. So it evens out. I think I average around 11 miles a gallon. Uh, that's <laughs> so. pretty good. It's okay. Considering, I mean, yeah. you know, that's about what everything that's lifted on big tires does. Yeah. So. Yeah, what's the curb weight on these stock? About uh, close to five thousand pounds. Yeah, it's five thousand. I, you know, I, I would say mid to high five thousands. Uh, but you know, you could easily get these things. You know, if you're doing full on overland setup with like a rooftop tent, a bunch of accessories and stuff. I mean, I've seen people go as high as eight thousand. Sure. So yeah. Just be very good. mindful. Yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah. It's easy to get a lot of weight very quickly. Yeah, I mean, once you get used to that kind of initial wondering, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's very controllable. You just gotta, you know, sling it around a little bit. Yeah. I thought about taking the sway bars off my BRZ now that I have a lift kit. I wonder if it helped with ice racing, maybe <laughs> low grip, snow rally cross. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what it's like. Oh yeah. So also, we just got out of a, a Rivian R1T, which is just cheating in every scenario. 800 horsepower, quad motor, air suspension. But this is cool. This is very, very nice. No vibrations, a little bit of growl from the, what do we have, Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. You could do... Uh, good 600 miles a day and something like this no problem oh boy traction control <laughs> yeah she's a little bit more sensitive now that she, she flexes a little bit that's understandable I'd set off stability control pulling into my driveway in my 4Runner. I should have aired down. It's alright. It's still so soft, so comfy. Yeah, you can see just how much erosion there's been the last few weeks. Still not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's because I came from Michigan. I brought all the rain. <laughs> well, you left out the Grand Canyon. That's right, yeah. Probably take a right? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, don't mind that. <laughs> Sounds a lot more dramatic than it is, if that makes any sense. Well, I mean, you know, you got a lot of stuff going on here. That's how you know it's still there. So then, with all the, the lockers, front and rear, do you have like a traction defeat? 
button or anything, uh, or do you just kind of put it in four I mean, low and it's, uh, yeah, figures it out? Yeah, four low. A-Track actually does a good job of, okay. you know, just handling things. It yep. just, you know, uh, I trust Toyota's judgment for the most part, so. So it all just kind of works in harmony together. Correct. Yeah, I just, you know, I just let the truck eat. Yep. And then it'll just kick in, but... I mean, there would be rare occasions I'll actually use the lockers. Sure. So. That's pretty pretty special I, scenarios. Yeah. I and mean, I think I will use it more often than I should just to justify how much money I need <laughs> with this thing. I mean, you got to keep them working, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> cool. This is fun, man. I could see, geez, this would just be so cool to take on all sorts of trails, all sorts of adventures. I mean, you've got the fuel range to kind of negate yeah. range anxiety. I mean, we're talking about range anxiety with the yeah. Rivian, but it's the same with these rigs because on with the stock fuel tank, you burn through gas like that and it's gone, so. Yeah. All right, so we got a tiny little hill over here past the river. And we probably want to switch into some things. What do you think? Or just leave it and drive? Yeah, and just leave it and drive. Just go up, okay. Yeah, just party time. All right, sweet. <laughs> yeah, easy. <laughs> Doesn't I mean, care. Not, I mean, if you really want to try it in four low, go for it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Doesn't need it. If we were doing the off-road park, if things were open today, oh, yeah. we would uh, we'd have some fun. But as it stands, it gives you more reason to come back and visit us. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to do four low on this one, go right. Right. why not? Yeah, might, as well. might as well. Yeah. And this one diff lock too, right? <laughs> yeah, center. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah, center diff. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. And then. And then Push up. Uh, just push up. Okay, different from my four. Oh, it's so easy. It's so luxurious. Yeah. So Lexus like. Yeah, yeah, so, wow. Very yeah, Japanese. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so usually I do a second gear start. So you just put it into. And, cool. Yeah. And then just let it work it. And something else. Down. Got it. There we go. Easy. Wait until he gets in position. Yeah, I don't want to run Steve over. Yeah. Well, he's pretty quick on his feet though. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, we're all engaged. Nice. Give Acre Track a little bit of a workout here. There we go. Oh man, it's so beautiful. It just crawls itself out. You know, I gotta say that was less dramatic than the Rivian. And like, <laughs> oh. I mean, until we put it into rock crawl mode, yeah. that got up just fine. Yeah. But the, the thing about this is it's one mode for everything. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Riven, you've got to go on the screen and it's got to change the, you know, the ride height and different settings. And I mean, I guess yeah, it's a lot quieter than this. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> Let's go down. I mean, it's a very special vehicle. Yeah. And, you know, I've got to say, this is pretty mild stuff that we're doing today. Nothing crazy. Great visibility, though. I mean, I could see over this hood line really well. Yeah. Lovely. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Engine brake is pretty good, too, in first gear. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I usually don't touch first too much just because it's so tw t so touchy. Let's go down this maybe, yeah, sure. and uh, we'll try first off throttle. 
Man, this is so smooth. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, especially when, you know, when I take my, some of my friends that have an off-road before and I'll take them in this thing, they're just like, you know, that's, the, that, that's probably one of the first things that they say. It's like, oh my God, that'd be like a crazy ride. Right? <laughs> well, you can also just, you can feel the suspension mm -hmm. work that you've done too. I mean, yes. I had a 4th Gen 4Runner mm -hmm. V8. It just had stock suspension with... I just had a Dobinson, mm -hmm. you know, two and a half inch lift on it. It was plenty capable. Oh, it was plenty capable, yeah. but, you know, it didn't quite have the long travel. It didn't have the articulation. This, you can feel like there's just so much traction here. Oh, yeah. And low and first, down the hill. Yeah. Just let it, let it climb down. I could probably brew you a cup of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, cool. We'll go up this one more time. This is fun. Some pretty big ruts here. And with A-Track, you just got to kind of stay into it. And it figures it out. It's beautiful. Yeah, I didn't feel like using lockers. I mean, A-Track will get you pretty far until it doesn't. And lockers just kind of take some of the... And it's just, it gets a bad rap because people think it doesn't work. And it's just, you gotta just let it do its thing. Yeah. And it takes a little bit of a learning curve to learn how to drive around it, yeah. but it works so well. Yeah, you know. stuff up in there yeah and, you know I didn't even tuck in you got so much like room in there yeah. I hear McQueen is making rear fenders pretty soon really yeah oh, that's gonna be sick yeah, I'm gonna be bugging that. <laughs> get me in there and now they're making carbon fiber oh, front shit. fenders so gotta get those yeah you know <laughs> it's show. dang it you know <laughs> You build it, they'll come. So yep. a lot of people are excited about carbon fiber fenders. I mean, who would have thought for a GX? Yeah. I mean, you got to get any weight savings you can, I guess. Sure. Over, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the visibility in this is great. I mean, I can... And the best thing about the GX, too, is just the size is so ideal. It's not, it's not a Jeep, but it's pretty darn close. It's narrow enough. And you've got a pretty wide track on this for extra stability. I'm sure that helps. Yeah. But uh, it's maneuverable. It's not huge. I mean, a Land Cruiser will take you anywhere you need to go also. But yeah. it might be a little tight through some sections. And the GX just, even on the daily basis, parking at, at Starbucks, it's yeah, relatively cool. easy. And that's what we all, that's what's most important. Yeah, about all you the know, stone. gosh. Yeah. I'm going to have my caffeine. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Wheelbase is pretty good. I mean, it's, it's kind of like between an FJ and a full-size pickup. And stuff. Sure. So, yeah, Prado's kind of right in between, right? Yeah. I would say this truck is just, you know, it's it's not good at like just one thing. It's just I'm not really good at one thing, but it's very well-rounded. Sure. And like Swiss Army knife things. Uh, so it's very comfortable back here too. I'm having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, I think that's probably about a wrap with what we can do today, given the road conditions, given the trails that are around here. You're just going to have to come back in the summer. I think so. I'll be back. <laughs> We've got a lot of press trips out here in California now. I can always schedule an extra day and we can do some do some cool off-road stuff and maybe I'll get a, like a Bronco Raptor or something and oh, you know, mob around in that. King of the Hammer is just around the corner right now. Really? Save for another oh, couple dude. of weeks. That'd ah, be perfect for you. That'd be amazing. Oh gosh, you would see some insane stuff. All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap on this GX 470. Shout out to Chris from Alpha Equipped for letting us 
come out today and drive this and also just for scouting all the locations i know we kind of we ran out of luck this week with trails yeah. but we did the best we could and yeah. we just want you to, to come out here more often i know right yeah <laughs> we can do some fun stuff if you ever find yourself in michigan we'll have to hit up the, the sand dunes those are yeah. those are pretty epic yeah. there's a lot of cool stuff so all right until then uh you guys can go check out is there any more on this build that you can check out? Do you have like a page or anything? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can just check check us out on Alpha Equip, yeah. the IG page. Uh, it's featured there from time to time. If you want to look at the truck's personal page, it's Family Truckster. Cool. Like Natural Lampoon's Vacation. Sweet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just watched that too. Yeah, there you go. Cool. So, yeah. And out. of course, if you have a GX, the GXOR Facebook page is the place yes. to go. GXOR on Facebook. Yeah hard to miss yeah so. yeah it is and uh nice looking wheels too Thank you. <laughs> cool <Yeah. laughs> all right thanks guys we'll see you later appreciate you guys watching hopefully you made it through the whole video uh one of the more extensive walk arounds we've done on a build and it's cool to just see all the detail that goes into something like this and uh it's amazing to see what parts and aftermarket has uh has done for this platform too so Pretty cool stuff. You don't have to go as crazy as this to do overlanding and off-roading, but uh, people go even crazier, too. I mean, you said limit. you're only half done, right? Yeah, you know, it yeah. just really depends how much you hate your wallet. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about, though. It's fun. Yeah. Cool. Man, look at the green. Hidden forest. Hidden forest. The forest yeah. is not hidden right now. Yeah. Now it kind of is. <laughs> and now it's back. I could do that all day. Yeah, wild. This is kind of my favorite color combination too. Bluish, purplish, green. I thought I would, it would be too loud, but you know, it just hits, hits it right. Yeah. I mean, it even looks a little good with dirt slung up the side. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, we'll catch you guys next time we're out here and uh, maybe do something else too. Sounds good. So, all right, that's a wrap. <laughs> cool. Come out anytime. Yeah, we'd love to. Yeah, hopefully next time the trails will be open. Yeah, yeah I know, so fingers crossed. Yeah, so be all you. Is this kind of the rain season too, this time of year in LA, or is this just a weird event? It is, but this is more rain than we ever get. Yeah, really, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. flying in it was it was as green as, you know, the yeah. GX, it was crazy flying over. Yeah. I've never seen the hills no, with that and, much you know, greenery. That's actually, it's, it's a rare sight. Yeah. yeah so we're, we're also grateful for the, for the rain because we've been in an extreme drought for the past like, two years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's... That helps. So, yeah, it sucks that we can't wheel like we wanted to today, but at the same time, you know. Yeah, we got a taste. Yeah. Cool.